As kids, we always wanted to buy an MRF bag. But now as adults, we want to buy MRF share. Hi, my name is Jay Dattani and I'm back with another case study. But today, it's from the IID classroom. So let's go. We all know MRF shares are one of the most valued shares in the Indian stock market. Right from a two-wheeler, which we always see on the roads, to fighter planes of India, MRF has tires for everyone. They dominate the industry with 25% share, which is the highest amongst its competitors. What we need to learn from the journey of MRF is how they kept evolving with the changing needs of the consumers and how they focused on improving their quality, technology and most important, the marketing strategy of their brand. When I started reading about the founder of MRF, I found something very interesting about his personality. Every time he saw a big change happening around him, he would look for opportunities to make a business out of it. He started by selling balloons and soon realized that the choices of the kids in that era was changing, hence moved towards manufacturing toys. After successfully manufacturing toys, he soon realized that the demand for products made out of rubber was increasing because it was reusable, easy to clean and long-lasting. So they entered into the production of gloves, conveyor belts and a lot more. At the same time, the demand for cars was increasing in the US market. And MRF realized a great potential in this situation. They started manufacturing rubber, which was used to make tires and exported it to the US market and soon became a leader in rubber export. By this time, MRF was already a big name in the foreign market as they collaborated with Mansfield Tire and Rubber Company and made one of the best quality tires in the world. But now it was time for India. India was in the growth stage and was developing in almost all the sectors. It was in the year 1983 when Maruti 800 was launched and MRF tires were used in this cars. MRF knew that India was going through a lot of changes, so they decided to make the most out of it. They started making tires for two-wheelers, which were the future of the Indian middle class. They were already making tires for cars, and soon after the green revolution in India, they started manufacturing tires for tractors. These situations tell us there were some major changes happening around the world and MRF saw opportunity in each one of them and made a great business out of it. You can expect any new car which is launched in any segment to have MRF tires on them. They have been able to work with all car manufacturing companies and be their preferred choice for tires. They market it so well and they offer brand exclusive deals and customization according to the models of the cars. This creates a major source of revenue for MRF. But apart from this, MRF has a great recall value for all the retail customers as well. They promote their products so well that every time a customer thinks of replacing tires, they tend to go with the original equipments provided by the brand, that is MRF tires. And being an original equipment partner for various brands has definitely helped them. Talking about MRF's marketing strategy, there is a very interesting story behind the MRF logo. After a while, when MRF was doing great in Indian market, and was ready to explore the overseas market, they felt like using a more impactful and appealing logo. And in order to take this decision, they went on to take customers' opinions and one of the truck drivers suggested that a tire should be strong and a tire should have a lot of strength, just like a fighter. And that's when MRF came out with the idea of Muscle Man, a logo that indicates how strong and powerful MRF tires are. Not only this, MRF often endorses its brand with various sports personalities and sponsors various sports events. As kids, we all remember a time when we used to think Sachin Tendulkar uses the MRF bat. And unknowingly, right from a young age, we were introduced to this brand. Apart from this, MRF has its own brand stores on many national and state highways, which provides you with all the services related to wheels. So customers, even in the case of emergencies, are assisted with all the kinds of services under one roof. This gives MRF a great word of mouth publicity. MRF also focuses on newspaper and television ads, but they know that their future customers are also present online. And now MRF has started focusing on digital marketing. 
and is running many campaigns on various social media platforms. We all know MRF as a brand is very successful in the tyre industry and its shares are valued the highest in the Indian stock market. But what we need to learn from MRF is that changes are happening everywhere around us. And if we look closely, they also bring opportunities for your business. One more thing which we need to keep in mind while planning our marketing strategy is we need to understand where our real customers are. MRF focused on truck drivers and car manufacturers and understood everything they expect from a tire and incorporated it in their brand. MRF is surely one of the stocks that we want in our portfolio. But till then, let us know in the comments below what is that one thing which you learned from MRF that you wish to incorporate in your brand or yourself.